Hello guys, I am AnimeHGia here, and welcome back to a new video. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. No, I'm joking. I'm, I love the I love Raid Shadow Legends. It's a B good M N O M O M M. I did that. Fuck. M N O game RPG game. Please, please go check out Raid Shadow Le Raid Shadow Legends. It's a good RPG game, good animations, and it's just fun. For me to play when I'm not close to my computer and when I'm bored. So, please go check out Raid Shadow Legends. And, like I said, Raid Shadow Legends is not sponsored to my channel. I wish they was because then I will show you the MNO things, all that. So, with this being said, you guys, I hope you enjoy my like, share, and subscribe. And welcome back to What If Naruto Was the Grandson of Madara. In this, I have two characters evolved with this storyline. I have Madara Uchiha. Sorry. I have one Mima and Naruto. You know, Mima was not in the storyline into the Shippuden days. So, I'm combining these two as the two strongest shinobi of history. This is going to be 50-50. They both have the Karama. But... With the special abilities with two Karamas and both separate bodies, this will get interesting. You will see how it goes with the ten Jujurikis. But with that being said, you guys, enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe, comment down below if you're new and enjoy this what if. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. So with this being said, you guys, enjoy the what if. Alright, enjoy the what if. When Naruto and Mima learns about the Senjutsu, or learn about Kenjutsu and Taijutsu, they were now getting to ceiling tags. How to create their own ceiling tags, which is so they can put armor or any types of weapons inside the seals. Storage scrolls. That's what they created. Storage scrolls. The scrolls that can store anything that you're imagining. It don't have any weight to it because it's a scroll that can store anything. About anything, even human bodies. Since they learned about this and all that, the Okage gave them. The Okage had to put them in a classroom, which will have to be in Arukis. Which is going to be the the academy of ninjas. So the two youth, um, strongest shinobis, the two Naruto and Naruto Uzumaki and Memo Uzumaki, arrived in the academy. They open the door, knocks on it, and someone answers. This was a man with a tall man with a Chudi's vest. In black spiky hair. Hello there. I am Aruka Sensei. How can I help you? I am Naruto Uzumaki, and this is my brother as well. I am Mema Uzumaki. How can we help you? We are here to be in your class for ninjutsu, ninja style. Ninja stuff, he said with a smile. Naruto stayed still. He didn't say anything but said oh. but, his <laughs> but said his name and his brothers. Mema starts speaking. Mema said we're here because the Okage sent us to become Academy students. Oh, you're the new students. Come in, come in. Aruka says, Hello everybody. Meet our two new classmates, you guys. The two new classmates with, with black, black spiky and red hair. Hello guys, I am Naruto Uzumaki. And I am Mima Uzumaki. Mima and Naruto share a great bond with each other. They love their company and they don't want no one bullying each other. So, once they agree to their channel. Naruto and Mimma, you should sit in the back of the table by, let's see, Cuba and Izeka. 
and Izaka. Sensei, why are these two losers sitting by me, the Alpha? Naruto and Mima didn't even say anything. They didn't get annoyed of what he just said. Hello, Kiba and Izaka. From the Izaka clan, correct? You're going to be the clan head of the Izakas. Keep up the good work, Mr. Kiba. Naruto smiled and looked at the teacher. All right, you guys. Two new students, Naruto and Mima. My name is Aruka Sensei. And this right here next to me is a Mizuki. We will be your class teacher for then on to you graduate to become ninjas. At this time, we'll be learning about the Okages. First, Naruto. What abilities with the first Hokage? This was hard, but not to Naruto. Well, if I may stand up. Yeah, go ahead. Well, the first Okage, Hashirama Senju, the one who, founder of this village, who created Grand Pe Peace of the World, and split and give all five great villages a beast that was known with a power of chakra. Then, uh, when then on Earth, these beasts came to be Jinjurikis. And Aruka seen what he was going for, but he didn't let him. He didn't stop Naruto. With that being said, Aru the first Okage wanted to create world peace. He wanted people to live peacefully, not be in violence or war. But some trash people like disrespected the Okage of the first, so he had to fight a war. A war he couldn't win. Since the war with their Jinjurikis killed the first Okage in battle. Then the second. Brother, if you please. Mima stands up and Naruto sat down. The second Okage. Tobirama Senju. His, second, his power in ninjutsu. His water release is powerful and he can just create water out of the thin air. Using any kind of water to make bigger waves in just one second. Which is the first Hokage Hashirama Senju who used two of them. Who combined water and earth to make wood. The third Hokage. Sabatobi. Third Kage. Haruzen Shabatobi, who mastered all five chakra natures, and who was the strongest of them all, and who was given and trained by the two Hokages before him, Hashirama Shinju and Tobirama Shinju, who was his mentor. The fourth Hokage, Minato Uchiha Namikaze, he was an Uchiha with a strong Sharingan. He was the Hokage for one reason. Because he's smart and intelligent. He knows how to do this. He wants world peace just like the first. His mind and body wants to save his people. He loved them with a bitter end. And he loved... Uh, Min Mimma stopped and Naruto looked at Mimma. Shh. Mimma, Naruto said. And Mimma smiled again. Well, he loved his people and his family. Now, who's going to be the fifth? Who's going to be the one who take that fifth Okage spot? No one knows in his world. We don't know who's the strongest to be the Okage. Is it the Uchiha's? The Uzumaki's? Or even the Hayuga's and Izuka's? Even the elders. But that is not my place to tell. In this world, the shinobi world will came fear and danger. So people who like to become shinobis for funny games, you must leave. Because being a shinobi is not fun. It's protecting your village with all costs and trying to save your village with your life. 
So if you're not strong enough to protect the things you love, I suggest you go to a different school to learn about books or something. That is what I have to say, Aruka Sensei. Give the round of applause to Mima Uzumaki and Naruto Uzumaki. Thank you, guys. Everyone did so, and why Mima Uzumaki and Naruto was getting shared and looked at by the young villagers as well. People muttered demons in the classroom. Hmm. A rich kid who was on his father was an elder and who was pretty rich and famous around the village. He got up when the school was over. He got up and started walking towards Naruto. Naruto senses this presence of someone walking towards him. The rich kid's two friends behind him. Who is now looking at them. Hey, do you know who I am? No, and I don't care. Let's go, brother. We don't have the time or place to talk to these weaklings. Naruto huffed and walks out, walk away, until he got stopped by the rich one. Hey, don't make me ask again. Don't ever walk away from me, you peasant. Memo lost his cool. He seen them staring at him to when they got in the classroom, when they ordered their names, when they sat down. First and foremost, boy. Don't dare touch my brother. And second thing, I don't care how famous, rich, or terrifying you are. I will slay your whole family. Touch him again and you will die. Mima's eyes start glowing a reddish color. A reddish color from the nine tails. Inside the body of Mima. Feel the rage, Mima's a mocky. Look what they did to your brother. They laid a finger on him. Killed them. Hate them. But Mimma shook his head. I would not kill no one if they need not to be killed. And they are no threat to me. Same as here. Naruto smiled. Bye. So I was just you watch your tone around us. Because we're acting nice. And I'm not going to tell it again. Their eyes glow red, both of them. With the two Jinjurikis of both half of the Nine Tails. They're powerful than even a Hokage. With that being said, you guys, I'll be ending this video here because it's late for me. And another thing, please like, share, and subscribe. Part 3 will come out soon enough. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you're new and enjoy this what if. Peace and I'm out. Bye.